Hello! Welcome to Good Day Gardening. I am your host, Jacqueline Ray, and this is my garden. Uh, it's time to prune the peach tree. This is the winter pruning. All the leaves have fallen off. Um, it is a deciduous fruit tree, so of course in the winter time all the leaves fall off. Uh, I've already got flower buds all over this place. Um, so I'm pretty excited about that and I'm really happy. Um, so, I got my yardstick. Since it's a bunch of twigs, it's really hard to show on camera what's going on. So I'm going to bring the camera in closer and I'm using my yardstick to kind of try to talk about why I decided to prune the uh, branches that I decided to prune off. So we'll try this out, see how it works. Um, I've already marked off the branches that I've decided to prune off. So let me bring you in. I'll uh, give you a close-up of the canopy and uh, go from there. Alright, so now this is my peach tree. For those of you who haven't watched my other video on pruning my peach tree in the summertime, these are the four main branches of my peach tree. Now, the, the people I bought this from pruned it this way intentionally um, in order to give it a nice open center, a vase shape, and to keep the height down. So in the summertime, what I did is I pruned off all the really tall branches to keep the height down again. And then, um, uh, and then, and now this pruning, I'm just gonna clear out this center so that uh, sunlight can filter in through the top and hit all the fruit and all the leaves down in the center of the tree because that's what you want. All right, so if you follow from here, and you go up this main branch, you hit this branchlet and come up here. And then this is the first branch that I decided to take out. Um, just because, again, it's blocking that center, which is not what I want. Now I'm gonna go ahead and keep this branch and this branch for now because they're really not gonna block that center. They might, however, shade out some of the other branches in the future, but for now, I think they're okay. So, And they got plenty of buds on them and flowers. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep those two and just take out this one. Okay. All right. And now we follow this branch right here and we go up in this direction. And if we follow it, we come to this guy. And again, he's growing into the center of um, the tree. Now he is growing more upwards, but as he gets fruit on him, he's going to hang down and he's going to block the direct center of it. So we're going to go ahead and take him out too. Sorry for blocking the view, but there. Okay. Uh, what's next? So uh, we're going to follow this limb and we're going to come up to this section right here. Now... It's kind of hard to see, but this guy is growing down and then up and kind of crossing this guy. Mm, I don't know. What do you guys think? I could keep it. If it gets laden down with fruit, it'll pull it down. You can see, you know, all the branches that are, are, are coming down like this, that's where there was fruit. And the fruit kind of weighed them down and now they're coming back up. Um, I don't know. At first I was thinking that, you know, I would probably need to do something about it, but now that I think about it again, I probably won't. So I think I'm just actually going to leave this guy here. Yeah, I think I'm just going to leave this guy here. Never mind then. So we'll take my little marker off. Right. And I could always take him off, you know, after um, summer pruning, next winter, whenever. If if it really does, if it ends up not working out that way, I can always take him off later. So I'll do that. All right. So I've got this main branch here, down in the center, and then I go up as I follow it up. I come across to this main branch. I could actually cut this guy out to. He doesn't have any flower buds on him or anything, but I think for now I'm just going to leave him. I'll probably prune him out in the future, but at this time I'll just leave it. 
Um, so I come up to this branch and then I come over here. Now it's going in the direction of another branch. And I've got the two crossing branches right up here. Um, I'm actually going to take out both these crossers and give this branch more room. This branch has more buds on it. Okay, this branch has more buds on it and for fruit production, at least for this year, um, I'm gonna go ahead and leave that guy and take out these two guys. I'm gonna leave this one because this one's not in anybody's way and it'll grow outward and then, you know, it'll produce its fruit probably next year it's only got one flower bud on there right now, but it'll produce more next year. So I'm going to cut this guy right here. All right. Wow. That looks great. Okay. Uh, next, I've got this marker down here. Whoops. Must have been windy. Okay. Um, again, similarly, if you follow this branch up, and you come across this guy who's going in towards all the other branches of my other main leader, which I don't want. So he's obviously going to go then. And off he goes. Alrighty. Now, uh, let's see, I tied another one over here. I have to remember why now. <laughs> I know it's because these branches are crossing. But I can't remember why I decided to cut this guy off instead of this guy. Or maybe it was just to, to get me to look in that area. Alright, so let's think about this. We've got my main leader right here. And this is a pretty good branch. And But so is this one. But it's growing off in this direction. Hmm. Let's see. I know I have, see this guy is going straight up. I don't know if you could see that, but he is, he is going straight up. He's gonna get into these other branches. So I know I want to get rid of him. question is, do I want to get rid of this cross branch too? I probably do, but if I get rid of this cross branch, I don't know if the rest of this branch is going to put out anything um, useful. So I think what I'll do for now is I'll cut out um, I think I'll just cut out this cross and I'll just cut this guy off. So that I still have, because I still kind of want a branch going out in this direction. Um, because if this branch, because I'm, I'm kind of interested in keeping this branch to see if it'll produce more branches over in that direction, kind of give, you know, a fullness on that side. So let me go ahead. I'm going to cut off this little guy right here. And this guy, let me cut off this tip. Now by cutting off the tip, what I'm hoping is that uh, some new branches will kind of develop and form over here. Okay. All right, well that's, my battery pack is telling me that I have no time left. I apologize for that. Uh, I have yet to invest in a larger battery and I didn't pull out my extension cord. So, okay. I gotta get going, but this is my final prune. Now these tags right here, those are the old prunes. So this is where I pruned it in summertime. Uh, nothing kind of fantastic going on with those. I'm gonna leave the markers there just so I know where I pruned them in the future. Um, and then I will show you my peach tree again in summertime when I do my summer pruning. Okay, that's it for now. It's a beautiful morning, so I'm gonna go enjoy it and eat breakfast. I'll see you later, bye.